Namaste, Mitron. Welcome back to Movie Community College. Miranam Tish Hay, the Warrior Queen. Namaste, Miranam, Professor Hay, Absy Milker, who she we? What's up, everybody? I got a video here from Why on News. It is about China and the frozen food industry. Um, I, I just want to point out before we roll into this, the Spanish flu came from China. You yeah. go through all the major pandemics, they all came from China. When are we as a world going to wise up and like not let them in our country? Yeah. Any of our countries? Yeah. I'm um, just saying. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this. The battles of Syria, let's now shift our attention to what is happening in terms of the COVID-19 pandemic. The researchers acknowledge that the COVID-19 transmission occurs through direct, indirect, or close contact with infected individuals. It primarily spreads through expelled saliva and respiratory droplets of an infected person. Last month, there were some reports that suggested that COVID-19 could actually be an airborne infection. And the World Health Organization also released fresh guidelines based on some evidence that it had collected. However, the virus threat is not stopping anytime soon. And researchers of coronavirus in China and New Zealand have now suggested that the deadly disease spreads, believe it or not, through frozen food packages which are contaminated with the coronavirus. In the month of July, China had reported that the coronavirus could be lingering on food and other packaging material, but no research could support this claim back then. Now, earlier in the week, it was again reported that there were several cases of frozen food packages that were contaminated with the coronavirus. Looks tasty. In the Yantai port alone, custom officials found traces of the virus on frozen shrimp packaging from Ecuador and on the outer packaging of imported frozen seafood that arrived from northeast China's Dalian province. Now, the officers first found the virus in food packaging from Ecuador and marked the first positive results from nearly about 227,000 samples that had been taken from imported food, their packaging and the environment. It is critical to understand as to how, when and in what types of setting does the novel coronavirus spread amongst the people. The scientists in New Zealand are investigating fresh cases which can be traced to an imported freight as well. The health officials are suggesting that the virus could have actually arrived into the country via the imported freight as one of the infected persons was found to be working at a cold storage facility that imports frozen food from abroad. This is likely to be New Zealand's first case of locally transmitted coronavirus infection after more than three months. The sudden resurgence of the virus has also prompted the officials in the country to reimpose movement restrictions and strict social distancing norms. The research on the coronavirus suggests that the virus can yeah, actually linger um, on packaging. I that ex know, that I, explains why New Zealand all of a sudden got a case. I was going to say because they haven't lifted their travel ban this entire time. And so they had more than three months where they had no cases at all. And then all of a sudden they had four cases pop up, but none of those people have traveled anywhere because of the travel restrictions. And so they were trying to figure out how is this possible? And these were people from the same family. So obviously one person got it and spread it to the others was their thinking. And how could this be? Well, now it's possible that it wasn't one who spread it to the others, but all of them got it from eating that frozen food. I'm just saying, when I go to the grocery store, I always look at the country of origin for the food, always. And if the food says product of China, I don't buy it. I don't want to eat food that comes from China. So, um, yikes, yikes. <laughs> Well, what could go wrong? I know. What could go wrong? Wow. Scary, scary news. Uh, I mean, it's infuriating, it. yeah, really. Yeah, it's very, it, it is, it yeah. is. Um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys later. Bye, friends. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel, and please check out our internet radio station, darkskyradio.com. Again, that's darkskyradio.com. We got great talk shows. We play some music. You will be thoroughly entertained. Peace and much love.